Thanks for joining us today. Hi. So, what's up with you, Joelle? to get glasses the yes, other day. Did. I really loved we talked about it on our stream I think I really loved the eye doctor so having the test and everything was a very pleasant experience they even made me coffee it was great then we decided to go to one of the big box club stores locally um, to get our glasses we did and I've always had good luck going to the smaller big box club store getting glasses these in fact are from there and I love them. And they're very nice. Oh, thanks. These are what I got. Now, these are great glasses, or the the example was beautiful. First of all, I cannot see very well at all. I can see about 12 inches in front of my face, and that's it. But if you guys... How many fingers am I holding up? I can see two. So that's within They're working. Range. But if you guys notice, look You have to blue. get closer, like lean in. You see all of the blue. And none of the blue. It's, they're kind of... They look like uh, a rejected pair of glasses. I'm not really happy. I'm not overly particular either, but... Joelle is super easygoing, but here's me. Listen, we're going to go to the other home store, and we're going to go in, and we're going to be polite, and we can get you what you want. Now, part of why we can't go back to the store we went to was because we both needed progressives, and um, he tried to sell us progressives, and we said, no, we want reading glasses, and he reading. said, what do you want to do with them? And Joelle says, read. <laughs> so we can't go so... right now and say, you know, we need progressives. <laughs> so no. that's been a fun So we'll go to the other happened. store. Anyway, so that's about it, my adventures with glasses. Other than that, it's been pretty routine. What about you? Well, I mean, things, I will say, yes, routine. I've been working on trying to get some income going for home business, and that's been a little stressful. But plug in away. I took my teaching English as a foreign language certification, and I got that done. Yay. So I have one win under my belt. Nice. School is good. We had a field trip today to the planetarium. That was that a lot was of fun. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Well, you can just pause I'm and cut it see out. See right? what this is. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh hi. Well, I'm actually in the middle of something right now. Can I call you back later? Okay, I'll call you. All right, bye. I guess it's not the car. So, Joelle's car broke down yesterday, so that was a fun adventure. And so we um, got to hang out for a little bit and have some snackies, and we are just waiting for them to say the car is ready to be picked up. Yay! Yeah, my oil pressure went down to zero, so I had to stop as soon as I could. I guess that's bad. Thankfully, it was just my sensor. I couldn't imagine it being anything else. It was great. But anyway, well, so yeah, it should get fixed today. That is wonderful. And yeah. I think, gosh, ooh, we checked the mail today, and we have gotten some lovely items in the mail that we will be sharing on our stream next Wednesday, or next Thursday. I don't know. What's wrong with me? We <laughs> stream on Thursdays every other. Yes. So we have some stuff. And it's for a purpose, if anyone doesn't know, we are going to Free Weekend Atlanta yes. in a couple of months. May, yes. May 6th, 6th through, the through the 12th, 11th, 12th. Ah. I think on the website it says through the 12th, but technically I think. The 10th is the Sunday. Yeah, but um, let me see here. I'll believe you. The 7th through the 11th. 11. So yeah. Anyway, so, so, go ahead. 
Oh, I was just going to say, so we have... I'm sorry. So we are planning some great crafts, and we have a wish list on Amazon, and some of our friends have sent some items for the kids to use at our Young for Rachel space mm -hmm. at Free Weekend Atlanta. So we are stoked. We can't wait to share it with you um, next Thursday. So stop by if you can. Yes, that is exciting. I'm, ex I'm really excited about the con. Um, so this yeah. weekend, let's talk about what's going on this weekend. This is a really busy weekend for conventions. Um, Anthro New England and in Boston. Oh, I wish we could go. Someday, someday. And, um, oh, Nordic FuzzCon in Sweden. Oh, I wish, wish we, we could, could go. go. <laughs> and then, day. And then starting tomorrow on the 21st would be the no, Melbourne. Yeah. Wish we could go. <laughs> Maybe so, one day. That seems like it's a lot, right? Three yeah, there's a lot Fairly going on. Fairly big ones, yeah. And Texas Furry Fiesta is coming up at the end of the month. Yes, so yes. Lots of cool stuff Wish we going could go. on. Wish we could go. <laughs> uh, but speaking of conventions, that leads us into our segment for today. Oh. Hello? Okay. Oh, okay. Well, just text me when you get to your car. All right, I love you. Bye. I mean, that's perfect for our blooper reel. If you're all staying phone, just keep... No, no. It doesn't ring for days and days. Sorry, thank you. So, uh, speaking of super fun cons, that brings us to today's segment. Yeah, we thought it would be fun for any of you not familiar with attending BLFC, whether this year is going to be your first or you've just not been able to go to convention. Um, we are lucky to live in the same city that hosts BLFC. So we decided to go over to the GSR, the Grand Sierra Resort, where I guess it is just the location for BLFC so far. Yeah. Um, where it's held and give you guys a little tour. Yeah, so join us in a field trip. This is the check-in counter. This is where you will come to check in if you're staying at the GSR for BLSC. And when you're here, it is not going to be empty like this. It's going to be full of crates and fursuiters and people. Hi, and these are the elevators, home of the elevator con. So these are the escalators where you will be seen and see other people. Once you get off of the escalators, you're going to find another bank of elevators. Um, it's not the main floor necessarily, but it also gets quite crowded, as does the, this entire hallway because this is the area where registration takes place. Now it gets really crowded sometimes, but I will say that BLFC does a great job for crowd control. They yeah. do. Now I will tell you something else though. There is a new little spot we just discovered. Yes. This. I don't know really what this is all about. What do you think? It's called Fat Tuesday and we are very eager to investigate because it looks like they have about 18 different frozen beverage machines and I can only assume that the majority of them are grown-up drinks. We'll probably be there a little bit. <laughs> we'll have to check it out. I mean, we have to. I mean, for science. Yeah, it's for science. So we're excited about that. The pool area is just beyond that. And then behind it, we have Johnny Rockets, which is a great place to eat. We've had lunch there. Great burgers. And then also beyond that is Porta Subs. And in the past, registration has included a cup if you, I think, a certain level. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that, not the base level, but maybe one up, something right, like that. Something like that. You can get refilled beverages in the cup right at Porta Subs, as many as you want. And then they typically offer a discount during the convention, right? I think they, they typically offer a discount at all of the eateries. Did I'm pretty sure. Jenny Rockets as well? I thought so. I don't remember, but. That food is great. We've had some fries there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just watch when you go to do pre-registration online, you'll have all of the benefits. Look out for those those kind of things. Absolutely. Every penny counts. <laughs> yes. So you can go to more cons. Yeah. So across from the restaurants are the restrooms, centrally located. And then as you continue on down the hall, at the very end on the right-hand side, you are going to see the dealer's den or the con store. Um, and we'll kind of walk you over there. We will. And then as we continue on to the 
left <laughs> is going to be another set of escalators that will take you up to where the Grand Ballroom is. Come on. So if you're walking down the hall toward the dealer's den, you take a left and you're gonna find the arcade. What else is down there? Uh, fun Quest is the, is the arcade, Arcade, right? a movie theater. If you're so inclined, there's a spa. Yes. This is the entrance to the dealer's den right up here on the right. At the end of the long hallway. They will be <laughs> checking your badges. Sometimes they give out a number. So you come at a certain Oh, they time. did that. I yeah. forgot. Yeah. So they try to keep it organized. There's like a little antechamber where you can buy some things and then inside is huge. Yeah. So behind us, you will see a window. In the past, this has been the place where you go to fill out an affidavit for your minors. So if you are kids coming to visit, your parents may have to do the affidavit here if they are still using this location at BOFC. Yeah, I don't think they did last year, but they did the year before. So who knows about this year? Definitely. And behind us is another set of escalators. Let's go see where they go. And now at the top of this escalator is the Grand Ballroom. I always like this ascension because I know there's fun up there. Well, the other thing I like is as we're going up, you can see who's coming down. And there have been times where we've gotten off the escalator <laughs> down to catch somebody. We have done that. <laughs> Very effective, and I'm sure we're not the only one. Probably. We've probably done that more than once. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. The Grand Ballroom. Now this is another area that people congregate, so it does get a little busy. Always remember to stay um, out of the way of the escalators because that's safety, that, that's a safety concern. For sure, and inside the Grand Ballroom, they will be checking badges. Um, off to the left in the past has been the Headless Lounge. So if you need some relief, you need some water, and to get some cool air, that's the place that you wanna go. Yes, and inside the, the Grand Ballroom, if there's not an event, they typically have just fun things to do and some chairs and tables. There's so. toys to play with. There's also usually a satellite snack bar so that you can go get some yummies. If you are thirsty or hungry, sometimes there can be a line. And as you continue on, on the right-hand side, typically is where the uh, dancing has been, and the DJ set mm -hmm. up through that hall there as well. Yep. So a lot of fun happens on this level. There's another set of restrooms here behind Joelle. Mm -hmm. And then if we were to pan around, you are going to see where they have karaoke. There is also, um, the, don't they do an arcade, I thought? Oh, they do a game room. A game room. And last year they had um, some old school games yes. that our little ones so even check enjoyed. Out controllers, yeah. yeah, they had the dance revolution, all kinds of stuff like that. It was that. a lot of fun. So if you continue on around this hall, it'll actually go around so that you can find another set of escalators so you can get back down. So There are a lot of escalators. There are a lot of escalators, don't worry if you get lost, um, but you will always find your way. If you just keep walking, you're gonna finally see something that is familiar. Also on this level to the right of the Grand Ballroom is the bowling alley, and that's another thing that has to Oh, that's been right, included. it is not down, it's up, right. So if you want to check out the bowling alley and do that, and again, the bowling alley has a great snack bar, very reasonably priced, and a nice little bar, mm -hmm. if you're so inclined. Or old enough. <laughs> if you're looking for a panel, so if you are looking for a panel, you want the set of escalators that has the sign that says meeting room. Yes, that's a great indicator since there are so many escalators in this building. So if you're in the McKinley room or the Carson room, yeah. the Grand Salon, Tahoe room, uh, I think Chris, what is it, Summit Pavilion? I don't know all of them, but I do know that all of the panels are typically upstairs. Right. Hope you guys had as much fun as we did. It was a lot of fun. It was fun just walking around and kind of reminiscing about BLFC, so. It was, and y'all, uh, our cameraman was my husband and it was his first time doing that and he had a blast. He was great and we saw Will I Am, so. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was so cool. But we played it really cool, we're like, whatever. Who is that? Is that somebody? We don't yeah. care. <laughs> it, was, it was awesome. So yeah, um, hopefully you get a good sense of the space. Hopefully, we'll see you in April this year, right? April 30th? Yes, and I cannot wait to try one of the margaritas from that margarita bar. I know. Ooh, I just can't wait until it opens and we can go see what all they offer. 
Absolutely. And so, uh, oh, we need to mention our furry of the week, which is... Lady Serena Kitty. We love you. We appreciate you. For those of you that don't know, uh, Lady Serena Kitty does really all of our moderating on our Discord channel. So we just are so appreciative. Yes. We love you. Thank you. We appreciate you. So much. And... Don't forget, Free Weekend Atlanta is coming up. We do still have our wish list up. So if there's anything you want to get for the... Hi, baby. So, (laughs) don't forget, Free Weekend Atlanta is coming up. We do have our wish list up on Amazon. If there's anything you want to get for the kids to use in the Young Free Chill space for crafting and making badges, we would definitely appreciate it. And thanks for stopping by today. Bye.